Hello viewers, welcome to the video lecture series on machine learning. Today's topic of discussion is on matrix decomposition. This is a mathematical concept in machine learning. Let us see what are the different steps involved here in matrix decompositions. A matrix needs to get reduced to its constituent parts so that the complex matrix operations can be performed. So this is very true when we want to perform some complex operations on a matrix. A given matrix need to get reduced into simplified matrices. And the other name given to this process matrix decomposition is factorization. So there are different methods of matrix decompositions like LU decomposition, QR decomposition and uh, singular value decomposition is the one which you are going to see here is the LU decomposition. This is one of the simplest matrix decomposition where the matrix A can be decomposed into L and U. What is L? L is lower triangular matrix and U is upper triangular matrix. The decomposition can be done using the Gaussian elimination method. So just previous session you have seen about the Gaussian elimination method. There are two steps involved in this matrix decomposition. First one is you, you need to include an identity matrix for the given matrix. Step 2 row operations and Gaussian elimination is applied to reduce the given matrix to get the matrices L and U. So if the given matrix is A then you are going to decompose into two simpler matrices L and U by using the row operations and Gaussian elimination method. So let us see one example here. In this example, the question is like this, find LU decomposition of the given matrix. So this will be given in the problem statement. Now the very first step is you need to add an identity matrix to the given matrix. Now this is your given matrix, okay, which has got elements 1, 2, 4, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2. Now you are going to add an identity matrix. Identity matrix is one which is having all the diagonal elements as ones and all the remaining elements as zeros. And as you have carried out earlier using the Gaussian elimination method in the given matrix, this element, the elements which are below the diagonal elements, 3, 3, 3. So these three elements has to be made zeros, fine. So now just look here, I have made this element as 0 which is belonging to which one? R2. So to make this element as 0, what I can do is I can multiply the elements that are there in the row 1 with 3 then I can subtract the elements of row 2 with row 1. So this is my row operation. I have written here R2 is equal to R2 minus of 3 R1. That means 3 minus 3 is 0, 3 minus 6 is minus 3 and 2 minus of 12 is minus 10. Next you would look for this element. Okay, This has to be made 0 and in order to make that element as 0, the row operation is R3 minus of 3 R1. So here you are having this R1 elements you multiply with 3 all these elements okay and then this 3 minus of 3 is 0, 4 minus of 6 is minus 2, 2 minus of 12 is minus 10. So you got this element as 0. Next thing is you have to make this element as 0 now. This is the last element that has to be made 0 here. So you can check the elements that are present above it that is the row 2 elements. So what you can do is this row operation you can perform R3 minus of 2 divided by 3 into R2. So here you are having what you are doing is you are multiplying this elements okay with 2 divided by 3. Multiply this elements with 2 divided by 3 and then make use of R3 minus of 2 divided by 3 into R2. So 0 minus of 2 divided by 3 will be 0 only. So now this element minus of 2 minus of 2 by 3 into minus 3 minus of 2 minus of 2 divided by 3 into minus of r3 3 3 get cancels then minus into minus will be plus so minus 2 plus 2 will be 0 you are getting here 0 right next is this value how did you get minus 10 divided by 3 here it is minus 10 so minus 10 of minus 2 divided by 3 into minus of 10 okay so you will be getting here minus 10 plus 20 divided by 3 so here i have written minus 10 plus 20 divided by 3 simplify you will get minus 10 by 3 so this is what you have written these are the things now what you have to do is whatever operations you have carried out the first row operation you carried out here to make this element as 0 how did you arrive at this value 0 
by using this operation r2 minus of 3 r1 so this 3 is the determiner here so to make this element as 0 you can check here in the identity matrix what you have to do is you have to replace that earlier 0 with 3 because of this 3 which is the determiner used in the reduction process so that 0 you have to replace it here with 3 similarly when you made this element as 0 that is because of this row operation r3 minus of 3 r1 so here multiplying factor that you used was 3 so corresponding position in the identity matrix also you are going to write it as 3 and next when you made this element as 0 in the row operation the multiplying factor that you used was 2 by 3 so in the identity matrix you are going to write what 2 by 3 in that position so you can check here you made this 0 because of the because of 3 which is the determiner here this became 0 because of this 3 which is the determiner here this became 0 because of 2 by 3 which is the determiner here so finally what you have to do is you write all the elements neatly here and say this is your L okay lower triangular matrix and this is your U upper triangular matrix so the final given matrix is now decomposed into two simpler matrices one is L and another is U and you can write down that this 3 comma 3 comma 2 by 3 which 3 3 and 2 by 3 3 3 and 2 by 3 are the determiners that are used in the reduction of equations so the main aim here is whatever matrix is given okay that matrix you need to simplify into two simpler matrices and we say that process as decomposition or factorization and the method that is used here is the LU decomposition method finally your answer will have two matrices one is the lower triangular matrix L and another is the upper triangular matrix U so lower triangular matrix initially was an identity matrix and later it got converted into this form whatever three row operations that I have carried out here is given here so these are the different steps that are used in the matrix decomposition hope you find this session helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care